I'm Michael Carnes. I'm a seventh generation Tasmanian. We basically produce a very high quality range of fudges and then we send those all over Tasmania and also to Victoria. Why Bruni Island? Because we looked around and this 50 acres came up on Bruni going down to the sea and I just saw a future business opportunity. It's the most beautiful island, 20 minutes from the capital of Hobart. We've got about 20 varieties of fudge that we make. The most popular is still the original dark, then caramel, then hazelnut. We also make truffles. We make Rocky Road, which we're told is the best Rocky Road in Australia. Tasmanians like high quality in food. We're not the snappiest dressers, and we may not have the most fantastic homes, but when it comes to what goes on that table, everything that goes on that table is A1 first class. Coming from, from a farming family, I actually wanted a business that was going to actually use a, a, as much Tasmanian dairy produce as I could. We have a saying in our business, which is everything is made in Tasmania except for the money. So I basically started by getting Tasmanian cream, Tasmanian butter, um, the sugar and the glucose of course aren't, but they are produced in Australia. The chocolate sauce from Cadbury's, because it's actually made in Tasmania again. The coffee and walnut, we get the walnuts from Webster's who are growing walnuts in Tasmania. We then ice the product with a chocolate topping and then we heat seal it. And we were the first people in the world to heat seal confectionery. And that means that gives it a five year shelf life with no preservatives in it. And that's very important. I think that the way, that the way my business has really influenced other businesses or, or other people is the fact that it's that you can start with a saucepan and $3,000 and you can actually build a multi-billion dollar business out of it. You know, country boy, finished high school, no tertiary education, you know, if you really want to do it, you can do it. And I still go back and give motivational talks at, at, at my school and things about, you know, just get out and have a go. You have to believe in your product. So I can hold up a box of our fudge and I can honestly say, we make the best fudge in the world. And I know we do, I don't believe it. I know we make the best fudge in the world. And if you hesitate at all with the product you're making, right, your business will fail. You have to believe in yourself and you have to believe in your product. And if you can honestly do that, you'll succeed. You'll definitely succeed. Yourself first, product second.